Welcome back to week four of the Compassion Project, presenting Arts for Resilience. So this week we're diving into self-care again. It's going to be our practice week. Just like anything, if you're playing a sport, a musical instrument, or in a play, it's all about practice. So last week we talked about grounding, listening to our body, give us those signals to understand where we are and how we're feeling. So once we understand um, that feeling of being nervous or being scared, we can use self-care to get back to that place of calm. And it's so important for us to recharge our bodies. And everyone has to recharge your body, no matter if you're in kindergarten or if you're 99 years old. And just like a car, what does a car need to go? Any guesses? If you said gas, you are right. So our mind and our body needs some sort of fuel. One way to fuel our body is through eating eating vegetables, fruit. There are certain foods that make our bodies feel good. One way we can help fuel our mind is through self-care activities. One way that I like to fuel my mind is actually to rest. Sometimes after I finish my work day, I might just sit on the couch and rest for a few minutes, check in with my body, Notice if I have any sensations, if I'm feeling tight and tense, if my shoulders are up by my ears, I know that I need to relax. I might take some deep breaths in and out to help bring my shoulders back down after the end of a long work day. And just like a lot of you, you're on your computer doing schoolwork, or we might be sitting more during our day. So we can change up our routine and use that self-care time to refuel our body. So I have a list here that I'm going to show you of different self-care activities. And we're going to make a little list of maybe some new ideas. So here we go. It all has some little pictures. And this is from wholehearted school counseling. It's right off her website. So I have my piece of paper here where I'm going to write down some new ideas maybe that I haven't tried recently because what works for me one day might not work for me the next day. I really like to go for walks by myself but some days I call a friend and we go for a walk outside just because I need some more company that day. So let's see here. This one is super important and sometimes I forget. So this is will be a good reminder for my list is to drink water. Let's see here. I like this one here. So this one here says stretch or do yoga. So I'm going to add that one to my list, especially because I've been when I'm working on the computer, my shoulders get tight. So that will be a good reminder. Also, let's see here. There's cuddle or play with your pet. You can see here I have my cat Howard in the background. He is probably relaxing right now. This one says watch funny animal videos, which would be a great day, which would be a great thing if I wasn't on my computer that day. Oh, I like this one. I'm definitely gonna add this one to my list. This one says visualize a peaceful place. So by visualizing a peaceful place, it's taking my mind that might be really busy with all the thoughts racing around and helps bring it back to that calm level. So if you'd like to make your own list, feel free. We're now gonna transition into the mindfulness piece, so I'll see you after. Find a comfy seat for our mindfulness today. Maybe wiggle around a little bit. Make sure your body's comfortable for the next few moments. I wanna begin by saying thank you. Thank you for being you. Thank you for showing up and joining the Compassion Project. Go ahead and sink a little bit deeper into your space. Maybe trace a few little circles on the ground around you with your finger. 
Notice the texture of the ground you're sitting on. Is it soft? Is it rough? When you've chased a few circles, bring your hands back to your lap to find some stillness. We are going to take three slow breaths with our eyes closed. Breathe in and out, filling our bodies with air and letting it out. I invite you to find calm and stillness. You are enough just as you are. This space is for you to think about all the great things you've accomplished. And when we thank ourselves, we can imagine a light, a soft, warm light. What does your light look like? Maybe your light is like a sun. Maybe your light is like a little star. Your light is beautiful. Whenever we say thank you, we show up for ourselves. We shine a little bit brighter. We make it possible to be seen. Imagine your little golden light and its warmth. The light is shining out on you. The light is growing. The light is spreading. Feel the light warmth. Feel your light and quietly say thank you to yourself. Thank you for all the hard work you've been doing. When you are ready, take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Feel the ground beneath you. Slowly open your eyes with your hands placed on your heart, you can remind yourself you are important and thank yourself again for all the hard work you've been doing. Thanks for joining us for week four. You can head over to the art piece and we'll see you for week five.